Good evening, son. Evening, teacher. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you don't have yet. Uh, you don't have account in the new Hello English system. Um. <coughs> huh? You don't know how to do that. Um. <coughs> um. I'm. I'm what? <clears throat> okay, so you don't have you don't have any okay. time. I didn't I didn't sign in the account. Mm, okay, so we're going to use the Skype instead. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let me share with you my screen now. Yes. Okay, can you see the presentation now, Son? Yes. Yes, okay. So let's try to listen and sing along together. So this one is the snowman, okay? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to play this one for a while. Page 32. Grammar in use. D. Listen and sing along. The Snowman. This was my snowman, my wonderful snowman. But now he's melting away. His name was Joe, my man of snow, and now he's melting away. Those were his black eyes and that was his red nose, but now he's melting away. He wasn't small, he was very tall, and now he's melting away. Okay, so going back in here, Son, let's discuss this one, one at a time. Yeah. Okay, now, the words that we can be able to uh, study in here are was, Okay, and then the words where, okay, Mountain. now I want you to, I want you to um, discover what do you think the words that had been used in here, like the was, the where, so what do you think are those on? Why is it we use was? Why is it we use where? Okay, so do you, know, do you know how to use was? Do you know how to use where? Okay, look at this one. This was my snowman. So that means, okay, it happens already, right? So that means the, the things had happened already. That means it's finished already. That's why we use was. But take note. In using the was, of course, it must agree with our noun, which is a snowman. So we are just talking only of one snowman. Therefore, we have to use the was. Okay? But if you're talking of, of many, let's say, for example, many, okay, like ice, we're talking about ice, so that means we have to use where, okay? Okay, again, the, the things that we are going to study um, now is about simple pasts of verb to be. So what are the verb to be? So we have two verbs to be in here that is under the simple past tense. So it was was, 
and where. Okay, now look at this one. It was a liquid. Now it's a gas. So look at this. Yeah. So it was. So that means before, right? It happens already or it happened already. Okay, in the past. That's why we call this one simple pasts. And these are be verbs, was and where. Yeah. Did you get the point, Son? Yeah. Okay, it happened in the past. If you're talking only of one thing, so that's was. But if we're talking of many things, like more than one, that happened in the past, we have to use where. Yeah. Okay, so on. Like for example, they were hard. Okay, so what are those hard? Okay, the snowballs. Snowballs are, okay, snowballs were hard. So why is it where? Because we're talking of snow. Balls. So we're not talking of only one snowball. Got it? And now they're soft. Okay, let's try to practice with this one song. What was it then and what is it now? Practice with your partner. Okay, it was an orange and now it's orange juice, right? Okay, that would be then. So, when we say then, it happened in the past. When we say now, it happened. Is it happens now. Yeah. Okay? It happens in the present. <coughs> Are you listening, son? Okay, next. Picture number two. Would you kindly tell, tell me this one? It was an or it was... It was an ice. Now it's water. A water. Okay, that's correct. Next. Um, it was a snow. Okay, it was a snowman. Now it's water. No. <coughs> now it's. Now it's. Liquid, okay, or water. It becomes water, right? Because it melts. So it it when it melts, so it becomes liquid or it becomes water. So it was a snowman. Now it's a liquid or it's a water. Okay, next. What about this? Son. It was a tomato and a soup. Now, it's soup. a, okay, it's a soup or we can say it's a tomato juice, right? It's the juice coming from a tomato, okay? So, it was a tomato and now it's a tomato sauce, okay, or juice. Okay, so, on. so again... We use was if you're talking of one thing that happened in the past. We use where if we're talking of more than one thing that happened in the past. Yes. Okay, did you understand now? Yes. Okay. Let me see if you can be able to recognize that one. Again, if we are trying to use the be verbs was and where there would be negative uh, statement for that, okay? If you're talking of was, and if you're talking to do the negative of that, so it can be was not or wasn't, okay? Yeah. The word where, it's weren't. If you're, not to if you're not talking about, okay? Or if we are talking about the, the negative part of that. Okay, weren't, were not, or weren't. Now, look at this. We use was if the subjects are I, he, she, it. And we use where if our subjects are you, 
we and they. Okay, son, question. What subjects we are using if we use the to be verb was? Okay, what are the subjects? The subjects. That's subjects. So that means many. So the subjects are. So we use to be verb was if our subjects are. Okay, like for example, <coughs> he was hot, right? She was hot or it was hot. But if it's negative, we can say I wasn't hot. She, he wasn't hot or she wasn't hot or it wasn't hot. Yeah. Okay. Next. When do we use the be verb where? If you're talking about the subjects. When do we use the to be verb where? If you're talking about the subjects. What are yeah. the subjects? We, they. Yes, so if you're talking about subjects you, we, and they. Like for example, you were hot. We were hot. Or they weren't hot. Yeah. Got it, son? Okay, now let's try to circle the correct words in here. Can you tell me the correct answer for number one? Of course, it was. The water was very hot. Why is it was? Tell me, Son. Why is it the correct answer in number one is was? Mm, this one. So why is it was? Because our subject is water. And we're talking only of water is uncountable noun so we cannot form plural of that okay not unless if you're going to put that one in a container okay or in a bottle okay so the water was very hot next what about number two what's the correct answer The feathers. Feathers again. The feathers was. Why is it was? Okay. Take note we have an S. That means it's more than one. So the feathers were. Okay. Were soft. Why is it were? Because our subjects, our subject uh, is feathers. And feathers is in the plural form. Okay? That means it's more than one feather. Okay? Yeah. So it's where. Why where? Because we're talking of more than one feather. Okay, next. Number three, Son. Yeah. <clears throat> So the negative form of that, number Mm, read the sentence. The boy wasn't. Okay. So the boy wasn't. So why is it wasn't? Because we're talking about one subject, which is the boy. And the negative of that is was not or wasn't. Number four. 
Number four, son. Okay, so why is it where? Because we're talking of more than one friend. So it's friends. That means more than one. Number five. Yes. Number five is Rashid's son. I wasn't. Why wasn't? My sister no, and where? I. Where? It's weren't. Okay, why? Because we're talking of two persons in here. <coughs> okay, number six, son. The snowman was a son. Okay, the snowman was. So that's correct. It's was. Okay, next. Let's try to change the underlined word and write was, wasn't, were, or weren't. Okay? Okay, let's try to do that. Number one has been given to us. I am very happy. So if we try to replace the word am, um, we have to replace that with was. Ah. Okay, why? Because we're talking only of one person. I am. Okay, next. What about number two? Yeah. So what do you think would be the correct answer in here? It isn't a cold day. Yes. So what do you think? If you try to replace the word isn't. It isn't a cold day. So what do you think? Is it is it was, wasn't, where, or weren't? Weren't. Why is it weren't? Isn't. That means it's only one. Is not. So therefore, wasn't. Was. Okay, it's wasn't. Why is it wasn't? Because we are talking only of one. Okay? Yeah. Like isn't. Isn't is not. So, therefore, we're talking only of one, okay? Next, what about number three? Okay, can you tell me number three? What do you think would be the correct answer in number three, Son? We in Lucy was. Okay, Lucy was at my house, okay? The is there is to be replaced with was okay next what about number four number four son number four is okay can you read the <laughs> sentence lucy i where Okay, Lucy and I were good friends. Okay, very good. That's correct. Next. Next. Brother aren't here. Okay. Brother so her brothers wasn't. Wasn't? Weren't. Okay, it's weren't. Okay. Why weren't? Because we're talking about brothers. And the negative, of course, the the past form of aren't is weren't. Okay, next. Yeah. What about number six? They are at the playground. They were. Okay, they were at the playground. That's correct. Okay, next. Look at the pictures. Write true sentences using was, wasn't, were, or weren't. Number one has been given. Kevin wasn't in the park, okay? 
What about yes. number two? Okay, what about number, number two? Yes. Okay, so what do you think is number two? Hmm? Yes. So, number two? Number two is the water was very cold. Okay, so the water was very cold. Okay, that's correct. Yeah. Next. The next one, number three. Okay, yeah. number three. So what do you think is number three? Number three is the and Oh, we're inside. Very good. Okay, so Debbie and Ann and Ann weren't sad. Okay, that's correct. Next, what about number four? <coughs> the snake wasn't new. Okay, the sneakers wasn't new okay that's correct so the sneakers weren't wasn't okay isn't weren't or wasn't yes so what do you think it's the correct answer weren't or wasn't yes okay choose the correct answer so the sneakers Were. weren't okay it's weren't mm -hmm. Okay, because we're talking of one pair of shoes. Yes. Okay, next. So, weren't, weren't new. Okay, next. What about number five? Um, the music was loud. Very good. So, the music, the music was loud. Okay, next, number six. The cookie was were hot. Where? The cookies where? were hot. Yes. Okay, very good. That's correct. Next, complete the sentences about yesterday. Yes. Okay, I. Okay, was, weren't, so that, that's the be verb, right? So, I, yes, so what do you think would be? Was, happy. okay, I was happy. Next, number two. I was in the park. Okay, I was in the park. Number three. I was. Okay, I was in the classroom. What about number four? My friend was. Parents. My parents. My present was. Was? No, We're my talking? parent were. Okay, where? Where at home. Next. Where? My friends were where? sad. Next. Yeah. Okay, where? In the park. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Let's go back in here. Now let's try to listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the word son. Page 34. Communicate. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. 
Ice pop. <clears throat> Balloon. Kettle. Popcorn. Icicle. Candle. <coughs> Ice pop. Balloon. Kettle. Popcorn. Icicle. Candle. Okay, now your turn to read all of this, Son. Um, ice pop. Balloon. Kettle. 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 Okay. Popcorn. Icicle. 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 Next. Oh. Candle. Okay. So this is an ice pop. Okay. Have you seen an ice pop in the real, in uh, in uh, in real? Have you seen an ice pop? Have you tasted an ice pop? Son? Yes. Okay. Of course, balloon. This is a kettle. So do you know uh, what's the use of the kettle? Do you know what's the use of the kettle? Son? Do you know what's the use of this? Yes. Do you have this at home? Yes. Okay, so what's the use of this? I don't know. Oh. Okay, look at the picture. Tell me, what's the use of this? Okay. Kettle is used to boil water. Okay? So it is used to boil water. So that's kettle. Next. Have you seen an ice? Uh, have you seen a popcorn? Have you eaten a popcorn? Son? Have you eaten a popcorn? Have you tried to eat a popcorn, son? Yes. Okay, so what's the taste of the popcorn? Um, I don't remember. You can't remember. So sometimes it's salty. Okay, sometimes it's sweet. So it depends, okay? So there are many, many uh, flavors when it comes to popcorn. So there are popcorns that are sweet and there are also popcorns that are salty. Next, have you seen an icicle? Have you seen a real icicle? One? No, not yet. So this one is an icicle. Of course, a candle. So, I know you have already seen a candle. Next, let's try to read the clues and we have to write the word. Number one has been given. It's a balloon. So, people think I'm fun to play with. I get too big. I pop. What am I? So, it's a balloon. Next, number two. Can you read that? Mm. Let's try to answer. Hmm. Number two. I help people eat water. For drinks, what am I? Oh, keto, keto. It's a kettle. Okay. It's a kettle. Okay, next. I can grow in a house when it's very cold outside. So what am I? Icicle. Yes, it's an icicle. Okay. Next. Next one. I get noisy when people make me hot. People eat me. So what is this? What am I? A it's a what? Popcorn. It's a popcorn. Very good. Okay, next. What about number five? People use me to see in the dark. Be careful. I'm hot. What am I? Candle. It's candle. Okay, very good. That's correct. It's candle. Next. Number six. Ice I pop. Okay, it's an ice pop. Ice pop. Okay, very good. Next. 
Now, what do you think is inside the balloon, Son? Um, what do you think is inside the balloon? Is it a water or is it an air? Oh, it's a gas. Very good. So, inside the balloon is an air and air is considered as gas. Now, let's try to listen again and let's answer the question, what happens to popcorn? Okay, let's try to listen again. Page 34. Communicate. Listening. C. Listen. What happens to popcorn? Let's talk about how solids, liquids, and gases can change. I have some things we see every day. See if you can guess what they are. 1. A lot of people like this very much. It was a liquid, but now it's a solid. How do we make this thing? We freeze it to make it very cold, so it changes to a solid. You should eat it fast on a hot day. 2. This thing is a solid and small and soft. But when we put some gas in it, it gets big and is like a ball. We shouldn't add too much <laughs> gas to it or it can pop. We often see these at parties. 3. This is a container and we heat water in it. When the water is hot, it changes from a liquid to a gas and we see steam. If we heat it for a long time, all the water changes to steam. 4. This is a solid, but if we make it hot on top, it melts. The top changes to a liquid and this thing gets short. When it gets cold again, the liquid part changes back to a solid. <coughs> 5. <coughs> This is in a very cold place. When it gets very, very cold on a house, the water dripping down on the side of the house freezes and changes from a liquid to a solid. When it gets warm, this melts and changes to water again. 6. This is a solid. When we make them hot, it doesn't change to a liquid or gas. It stays a solid and gets big. Okay. Look, they were very small and now they're big. Mmm, it smells good. I'm hungry. Okay, let's try to answer the question. What happens to popcorn, son? It's pop. It's pop, very good, because pop. if you heat that, it doesn't change into either a gas or a liquid, but still the same as solid, but it pop, it, it becomes big, okay? Now, let's try to listen again and number the words in the order you hear them. So number one has been given, that's letter D, it's the eyes pop. Yeah. Okay, where are you, son? Yeah. Okay. So let's try to listen again. D. Listen again and number the words in the order you hear them. Let's talk about how solids, <coughs> liquids, and gases can change. I have some things we see every day. See if you can guess what they are. 1. A lot of people like this very much. It was a liquid, but now it's a solid. How do we make this thing? We freeze it to make it very cold, so it changes to a solid. You should eat it fast on a hot day. 2. This thing is a solid and small and soft. But when we put some gas in it, it gets big and is like a ball. We shouldn't add too much gas to it or it can pop. We often see these at parties. 3. 
This is a container and we heat water in it. When the water is hot, it changes from a liquid to a gas and we see steam. If we heat it for a long time, all the water changes to steam. Four. This is a solid, but if we make it hot on top, it melts. The top changes to a liquid and this thing gets short. When it gets cold again, the liquid part changes back to a solid. Five. This is in a very cold place. When it gets very, very cold on a house, the water dripping down on the side of the house freezes and changes from a liquid to a solid. When it gets warm, this melts and changes to water again. Six. This is a solid. When we make them hot, it doesn't change to a liquid or gas. It stays a solid and gets big. Look, they were very small and now they're big. Mmm, it smells good. I'm hungry. Okay, Son, open your camera now. I want to see you. What? <coughs> okay, your camera is off. I so know. would you kindly turn that on? <coughs> I know. But... Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see your screen. Okay. So it's there now. Okay, now. Let's try to answer this one. Number the words in the order you hear them. So number one, it's this one. So the, the thing that we are referring that we heard uh, in the audio is the ice pop. What about the second one? Where do you think is the second one, Son? The second one. Okay. If you try to put an air in it, it will, it will, it will become big, okay? But do not put too much pressure or what, okay, it's balloon. So this one is the second one. What about the third one? Okay, so the third one, it's a solid, it's a solid thing. But if you try to lit them, so it melts. But if you try to um, uh, try to off the lights now or the, 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 the lighting, it becomes solid. So what is that? What is that, son? It's a thing. And then if you try to lit that, so it melts. So what is that? You use that. You use that one in order to light, um, um, light a dark room, maybe. So it's a candle. Okay, it's a candle. Next, what about number four? Number four. Okay, one, two. Oh, number three. Number three is a uh, kettle. This one is number three. So candle is number four. Okay. So we heat uh, we heat water through a kettle. Next, what about number five? So number five, if the room is very cold, so there would be an icicle. Okay. It forms an icicle. And last but not the least, of course, it pop up, it's the popcorn, okay? It becomes big, okay? Let's continue now, Son. Okay, let's try to answer this one. Circle the correct words, so balloon, that's correct. Next. What about number two?
It's very easy, Son. I know you can do this. Candle. It's candle. Okay. Next, number oh. three. Kettle. It's a kettle. kettle. Number four. Ice pop. Ice pop. Okay, number five. Popcorn. It's a popcorn. Okay, number six. It's icicle, okay. Now, let's try to complete the chart with words from A, okay? With words from here. So, things we eat. So, what do you think are the things that we can eat? Okay. Number one, tell me what are the things that we can eat based on the picture in letter A? Okay, what are the things that we can eat? Yeah. Can we eat a balloon? No. No. So what are the things that we can eat? Uh, can we I eat a candle? Ice pop. Okay, it's an ice pop. Aside from an ice pop, <coughs> what else? Popcorn. And a popcorn. Okay, can we eat an icicle? Okay, yep. no. Next, what yes. about the things? Yes. What about hmm? ice cream? Yes, we can eat the ice cream. No, it's I uh, can eat the ice. No, no, no. Actually, icicle we cannot eat that one because it's uh, it's poisonous. Okay, it's poisonous. So do not eat an icicle. Although it came from, it's an ice. Okay, it's an ice, but that is poisonous. Okay, so do not eat an icicle. So, only two things that we can eat in here. Okay. An ice. An ice, we can eat the ice, right? Okay. The ice that is coming from the, the fridge in the refrigerator, right? Yeah. But the ice that is that can be found outside is not, uh, it's not good to eat, okay? Okay, next. What are the things that we don't eat? Um, is... Okay, number one has been given is balloon. Next, it's candle, right? We cannot eat candle. Next, what else? Okay, open your cameras on. <coughs> Sean? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. Aside from balloon, aside from candle, what are still the things that we don't eat? Icicle. Okay, icicle. Tito. Okay, next. And, of course, the kettle. We cannot eat them because these are, okay, these are things. Okay. What? It's because it's made from steel. Yes. Okay. It, it is made of steel. Next. Read the sentence and check the correct picture. Can you read sentence number one, son? Um, pla <coughs> plant a tree. In the spring. Okay, I plant a tree <coughs> in the spring. So what picture is that? <coughs> is this A or B? B. It's B. That's correct. Number two. I. The boys play in the snow. That's letter A. Next. I. Okay, look at the big fish. It's A. Oh, no. B. Is that a fly? It's B. B. Okay, very good. Now, read about a thing that can change state. Can you read this one, uh, Son? Go. Okay, read this one. Okay, eyes on the screen. Okay, eyes on the screen, Son. It's an ice pop. Orange. Orange. Oranges again. Oranges. What's Jewish? Jewish. 
wait, wait, for a while. Okay. Listen. Stop, stop, son. Stop. Okay, can you... Okay, can you say oranges? Oranges. Okay, oranges means many orange, okay? It's not just only one, but it's more than one. So, oranges are solids. Then, it was a juice. Juice is a liquid. We freeze it. Now, it's an ice pop. It's a solid, okay? So, what are the change state in here? Okay, an ice pop is, came from an orange. So, it's an orange first. Uh, oranges are solids. And then after that, when you try to get the juice of that, so it becomes, uh, your camera is off, so on, open it. Yes. Open it. I'm doing it. I'm just let me. I am. <laughs> I, when I open the camera, I will open. Okay, open it. And then I will open. Okay, open it now. I will not going to continue unless you are going to open your camera. Because I don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> I want to see you. So open your camera. Yeah. Okay, very good. Oh, do not, do not um, off your camera now, okay? So again, an orange, if we are going to make an ice pop, so what are the ingredients that we need? So in order for us to make an ice pop, we need an orange. orange. Remember, oranges are solids. Then, if you try to make them, if you try to make juice out from the orange, so that becomes a juice, and juice is now a liquid. If we freeze them, if we freeze it, it becomes an ice pop. And an ice pop is now a solid. So, what are the chains of state in there? So, first, from solid going to liquid because... Orange, oranges are solid. So if you try to get the juice of that, so the juice becomes liquid. If you try to put the liquid or the juice liquid of an, of an oranges, if you try to freeze that, so it becomes an ice pop. And an ice pop is solid. Okay? Now yeah. choose a thing that can change state and answer the questions about it. Okay, can you think can you think of a thing that can change state like this one? Okay, like for example what, it is. what was it? Okay, can you give um, me an example? Strawberry. Okay, strawberry. So what are you going to do? Are you going to make a strawberry jam? Are you going to make a strawberry pop? Um, Are you going to make a strawberry juice? Strawberry juice. Okay, strawberry it juice. Strawberry juice. Okay, yes. so strawberry juice, you're going to make a strawberry juice. So strawberry is a liquid now, solid for gas. Now, the, um, the, what it is, it's strawberry juice, not only strawberry. Okay, so it's strawberry juice. Okay, but that thing is not it's not a juice yet. It's a strawberry yet. And strawberry is considered as solid, okay? And then, if you try to... No. If you try to squeeze, Teacher. okay? Mm. First, the mm. first you only write the strawberry, and the second you write solid. Not oh, yes. That. Okay, I know that. Okay, I know that. Yeah, I know that, son. Okay, but I am trying to, I'm just showing you, okay, that we're not going to, no. to use, no, we're not going to use strawberry juice in there. It's just only strawberry. That is what I'm telling you, right? Okay, and then after that, strawberry is no. a solid. No, I want to make the strawberry ice. 
very Jewish. Okay. And then, that would be the, okay, the ice pop can be it here now. Okay. Next. So, what do you do to it? Okay. Juice them. Okay. Juice them. And juice is now a liquid, right? And then after that, freeze them. So when you put that one in a freezer, so that becomes now a strawberry ice pop. Okay? Oh, that is it, son. Okay, did you got now? So it's a strawberry first. That's a fruit, strawberry fruit. And then a strawberry fruit is a solid. But if you try to juice them, it becomes a liquid. And then if you try to freeze them now, put that inside the freezer so it becomes a strawberry ice pop. Okay? Okay, now let's try to have a speaking in here, Son. Let's try to listen and repeat again after. Page 35. Communicate. <coughs> Speaking. E. Listen and repeat. Then practice with a partner. Use the words in the box to help. Please pass the juice. Sure. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, let's try to practice this one. I will be doing this, the violet one. And you will be doing this one, okay? Okay, please pass the juice. Son? Um, sure. Continue. Yeah. Continue, sure? Here you go. Ew. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, now, the red one, we can also substitute juice with the chips. We can also substitute juice with the cookie, okay? So, let's say, for example, please pass the chips, okay? So, we can also use chips instead of juice. We can also use cookie instead of chips, okay? Please pass the chips. And then, you can also replace the word sure with okay. Okay, son? Okay, I'm going to type it here. So, can repla replace that one with the word chips. You can replace that one with the word okay, cookie. Okay, and then this one, you can also replace that with the word okay. Or we can also replace this with the word, of course. Okay. And then when you say wel welcome, you can replace that one also with no problem. Okay. Now look at this one now. Please pass the chips. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Or please pass the, the cookie. Okay, of course. Here you go. Thanks. No problem. Okay, son? Huh? Okay, next. Let's try to learn now nouns and <coughs> verbs. So, you know what are nouns? What are nouns, son? You know what are nouns? Yeah. Okay, nouns are names. Okay, names of what? Okay, it's a name of person, place, things, or an animals. So, if you try to use the name of a person, the name of an animals, the name of a things, okay, the name of things, okay, and the name of uh, maybe an idea, so that is what we call nouns. While verbs are action words. Okay, remember this one, son. What you are doing right now, what we are doing right now, we are studying our lesson, so that's a verb. Okay, you are sitting on a chair, that's also a verb. Okay, 
You are looking at me. That's also a verb. You, okay, your name, son, is a noun. You are a person. Person is a noun. Okay? If that nouns does an action or if that nouns do an action, that means it's a verb. Okay? Who does the action? Of course, the nouns, right? Or the person or the animals, except for the things because things cannot do an action. Okay, son? So again, remember, some words can be nouns and some words can be a verb. Okay, like for example, this one, steam in here is a gas. So the word steam in here is referring to a noun, right? But if we try to use this like this, she steams the carrots. So steams the carrots. So the word steams here is now a verb. It's an action word because our subject in here is she. And who does the action? She. What she did. Okay, what she does. She steams the carrots. Okay, steam can be a noun. Steam can also be a verb. It depends on how you're going to use that in a sentence. Okay, son? Now, read the sentence, write the word. Look, the eagle chicks can fly. So the word fly, is it a noun or a verb? Look, the eagle chicks can fly. What do you think the word fly is? Is it a noun or a verb? It's noun. Mm, fly. So the fly is flying. So therefore, this one now is a verb. So we use the word fly here as a verb because it flies. So what is the what are our subjects in here? Eagle chicks. So what did the eagle chicks do? No. Flying. Okay, so therefore the word fly in here is an action word or a verb. Next, my friend and I blank video games together. Hmm? So my friend and I blank video games together. So what do you think? Is it play or fish? What's the correct answer, Son? My friend, I play. Okay, play video games together. Now, what do you think the word play is? Is it a noun or a verb? Is it an action word already? My friend and I, who play a video games together? Um, who play the video games together? My friend and I. So I, therefore, the word play here is a verb. Okay, it's an action word. Next, number three. We blank the pan in the summer. Of course, fish. So we fish at the pan in the summer. So what is the use of the fish in here? It's a verb. It's an action word, okay? Because what they did is they 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 did fishing at the pond in the summer. So the word play, fish, fly can also be a noun. Okay? But can also be a verb. In this particular sentences in here, we use play, fish, and ply as verb or action word. Okay, son? Okay, so on our next meeting... Think about the word fish, we need to add a. Hmm? Add ing. What's the word fish, we need to add ing. Not only fish. Yes, if we are talking about present continuous form of the verb, but we are not there, okay? 
we're not that the we're not yet there. So we can be able to study that one on our next lesson. So how are we going to do the present continuous form of the verb? Okay? Okay, but this time we are just studying only nouns and verbs. Okay, son? Okay, we're not yet there. So you just have to wait for that. Okay? So do you have any questions? No. Okay, if you don't have any questions, let's end up our lesson today. Um, what have you learned today? Would you kindly tell me what are the things that we've learned today? We learn, learn about? About. About what? Present continuous. Hmm? What we what we have learned today? We learn about the states of matter, the changes, right? From from yeah. solid to liquid or liquid to solid. So we learn that one. So the phases of matter, the solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. And then after that, we learn also the simple past form to be verbs. And what are those? The was and the where. And lastly, we learn about nouns and verbs. So what's the difference between the nouns, between the verbs? So that uh, those are those were the things that we had learned today. Okay, son? Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, bye for now. We'll see you in the next meeting. Okay, bye-bye.